one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now it's Rodgers. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also, like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say no better sight. Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick but throw one to the big guy, but you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game tell all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Noah Gray. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target. Able to pick up another first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a play fake. Rodgers being chased out left. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Mahomes now to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. Mm -hmm. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line no. of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. 
Here we go on fourth down. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. 95 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. On second down, they'll run it here. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll take this one down near the 15. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit. Like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Buying time to his left. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. Nice job escaping the pocket. And, boy, he took the shot downfield towards the end zone, didn't he? Trying to go for six. It just wasn't there against that coverage. They were ready to prevent the big play. Rodgers again now. And his throw is going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Rodgers now to throw. On the move to his left. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 30. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Rodgers. Steps away to his left. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Completes it again to Dobbs. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they manage to convert 
And that'll keep the drive alive. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They go back to the ground with Jones. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Facing a second and six from the 8. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Now Rodgers. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Facing this big first half deficit, they keep the field goal unit on the sideline. They're going for it. To throw is Rodgers. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. Back near his goal line. Here's Mahomes. Throw over the middle, caught by the tight end, Gray. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. Just a gain of a couple there. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Mahomes now on first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to take over at their own 41. So that potentially an important takeaway here in this second quarter. Because what it does is give their offense a chance to put a drive together. They've got nothing on the scoreboard so far, so you have to think that they need something before the break. And now... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. <laughs> Throwing on second and long. Rodgers dancing to his left. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call. But they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to take over here up near the 40. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. And supreme confidence in the kicker turns to supreme failure, as that is obviously no good. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board, they begin to have hope. Rodgers now on first down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Well, I think everyone who's watching was certainly hoping to see things get a little bit better for them in this half, weren't we? But it was a downright miserable first half. This carried over with an interception to begin the second half. That's a defeated offense right there. And there's still a lot of game left. I don't think that's the last turnover we're going to see today, partner. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. But backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 18. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Mahomes will throw for it. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused. And my goodness, another interception. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe it. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. So when the defense complains about having to do pursuit drills in the heat of training camp, plug in this play. Excellent pursuit. Force the quarterback out of the pocket. He ends up trying to run for it. Instead, he goes out of bounds and loses yardage. That goes down as a sack for the defense. 
to throw again on second down. Mahomes quickly to Kelsey. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes fighting me, Cole Hardman. And the Chiefs will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen no. in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. to the goal line as his try for two is going to come up empty but that's little consolation to this defense as they have been porous all game long now after the touchdown here's Butker on to kick it away and this will not be returnable it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback the Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. Random. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. But well, to be frank, CD, this is getting tough to watch. I mean, you feel for him, but six interceptions, yeah, yeah. that's at a whole new level. It's not a good level. It makes it tougher and tougher to come up with ways to try and support him. But you have to as a team because you can't just throw your quarterback aside. You're going to need him later on. But it reminds me of a time that a former defense coordinator of mine told me he was in a game where his quarterback threw seven interceptions. So after the 6-1, one, one of the defensive players went to the quarterback and said, here's what you do. Throw the ball to the other team, and let's see if our receivers can pick it off and turn it into the <laughs> Yeah. So that's that now for you.